Hello, my name is Kyle, a black man surprised at how acceptable harassment is in the official discord for Marvel's Avengers. Harassment from people I don't know or care to know, and even when my race, for no reason, is thrown in to really bring out the flavor. A moderator told me that I should just consider blocking the guy because harassment isn't just acceptable, it will be protected in this dead games discord. Now, I may not seem it, but I'm not bleeding for social interaction with random strangers on the internet. I was only in the discord for Marvel's Avengers because I, like many, was curious about updates for this game. But there are no updates, Kyle, Disney, Marvel, Square Enix, Crystal Dynamics, you are sick. And the irony is, we all watched you developers circle jerk and demand backpats for the brave inclusion of Kamala Khan in your buggy mess of a game. But we're not stupid. It was so transparent, so obvious that you were only using her as a marketing gimmick so that you could push your product on certain demographics. Yet, when disrespect occurs, it's fine for you. And you know what? It's becoming pretty on brand for you because of the disrespect that we've watched you show players. What does it say about you now? This broken ass product that you admit isn't up to standard that you have no problem charging $60 for, fails in every way imaginable. A single player campaign that you cannot even replay. Terrible, broken loot in your looter. Awful performance across all platforms. Crashes, progress deletions. A game unfit for the DLC that you're having to delay because the base game, even after thousands of patches, is not ready. This is all more than a month and a half after launch. A frankly embarrassing display of ineptitude and inability to get your shit together. This isn't ready, but it was ready enough for you to charge us for. Charge us for a Marvel game with two villains, one enemy type, and zero Marvel locations. No MCU skins after the 10 years of over 20 movies that have dominated our culture. No comic book skins celebrating the 80 year legacy of Marvel. When people would have actually paid on top of it for that, how do you screw up microtransactions? How do you screw up skins in a video game? You did it. You're writing a book on how not to everything right now. And if this disgracefully out of touch lack of content wasn't bad enough, in your questions and answers video yesterday where you ignored the main questions of the community, you were stupid enough to mention that biomes were coming? As if any Marvel fan is interested or excited about biomes, people want Asgard, Atlantis, Wakanda, space locations, etc. But you're willfully ignorant. Even Paul Tassi of Forbes, a games journalist, submitted questions on your tweet since that was the way that you were going about this and you ignored his questions which mirrored the player base's questions because you think when people want a superhero in their superhero game, they mean Archer? And not just one Archer, but two Archers? Both delayed, by the way. And not just delayed like they were the first time, but delayed again. Double delayed. Twice delayed. Two times. Two Archers, much like the two villains that are the only things available in your Marvel game. I have two words for you. But much like Captain America in your video game, you are not worthy of my words. You are unworthy of my time. You are unworthy of anyone's time. You are unworthy of any attention. Fans, players, passionate gamers have watched this dumpster fire rage. You lit it. We offered you ways to not only put it out, but prevent it getting this bad again. And you know what? 
it's becoming clear you want it to be this way and that's completely fine i'm not going to reduce myself to your level further i endeavor to be better than you i offer solutions however brash blunt or biting for a month i've tried i didn't lie like the clowns on youtube that you give the attention because they're so fake and that's what you want you want a reaction like a star wars trailer where somebody's crying i never led people to believe in foolishness like they do spider-man coming in january you can't even get two archers out you're pushing it to the end of the calendar year i never led people to believe madness or instructed them on how to glitch and you know why it's because honestly your game was so broken that it could erase people's progress and resources unprovoked i wouldn't want to have any part in that can you imagine me attaching my name to your broken garbage i am done but what i hope more than anything is that you are done crystal dynamics you had your window to dump this trash game and you didn't flinch you didn't miss a step without hesitation you charged for a broken product that you're trying to backpedal with and fix right now with entries like cyberpunk and spider-man coming out here soon to demonstrate just how far sixty dollars can really go i hope you are forgotten your behavior indicates exactly that this is what you want so be ashamed because i believe cyberpunk specifically may be a game as influential as as a skyrim grand theft auto minecraft like combined i already know that spider-man is going to celebrate a legacy a marvel history and carve out a new identity it's going to be fun it's going to function and it's going to be able to sell incredibly well without having to shove race down people's throats or, or expecting an award because the protagonist is black. Jesus Christ, Marvel's Avengers, you are the definition of cringe. You know what breaks my heart, though, is somewhere someone made the choice to buy Marvel's Avengers instead of Cyberpunk or Spider-Man. And truth be told, I'm one of them. No more. I'm going to work towards a PS5 because I want one, I deserve it, I deserve to have fun, I deserve to take the edge off, as opposed to have my experiences compromised by things not working. To have people ignore me as a, as a member of a community in a live service, all you had was to communicate and keep the good faith of your player base just hanging on, couldn't do that, you're fools. Marvel's Avengers is the culmination of lies, deceit, disrespect, confusing decisions, and a development cycle, or lack thereof, that deliberately keeps so secret that it's killed any hype that players could have had for the future of this game. But as I said before, that may have been their intention. If you're playing this still, I urge you to stop. They don't deserve you. I'd ask you to subscribe, but I'm honest enough to tell you that my content isn't always gaming oriented. I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just a guy with a channel, and I thank you for listening. And if you've shared even a part of the struggle of trying to like this game, then know that you aren't alone. This game's so bad that people damn near need a support group after it. Marvel, come get your license, please. Make a free play, make a, make a free to play gotcha game like Genshin Impact, I would gladly play a free Marvel game that felt complete, that offered me something, that had locations and villains and heroes, and I would gladly throw my money to experience more of those heroes, more of those locations. Because in this world, people are willing to pay for something that they consider satisfying but when you pay for something that the person selling it to you then admits yeah it ain't even that great it's not working it's broken it, we need to do better it's not up to our standard what the fuck you owe these people you owe these people links in the description man thank you for your everything boy Thank you for your help on this journey to a PS5. Journey to the center of a PS5. Buckle up, man. It's time to start having some fun on this channel. 
Oh my god.